afternoon, students. Welcome to today's class. I am Ms. Petra Aporo, and I'm here to teach you business studies for GSS 1. Business studies for GSS 1, and we have a very interesting topic today titled Occupation. Occupation. Now, what's occupation? Occupation is defined as a job or profession which a person engages in to earn a living. Now, anything you do that earns you money, when you finish doing it, they pay you money, it's called your what? It's called your occupation. Anything that brings food to your table or brings money to your pocket, it's called your what? Occupation. Now, we have different types of occupation. We have different types of occupation. Five, actually. The first one is extraction occupation, manufacturing occupation, constructive occupation, commercial occupation, and services. Now, I'll go ahead and explain the first one, extractive occupation. This involves extracting things from the soil or the sea. For example, fishing and the extraction of crude oil, even mining of gold. All of these falls under what? Extractive occupation. And the next one is manufacturing occupation. Manufacturing occupation. Now, after you finish extracting your raw materials and your resources, you can't use them like that. You have to manufacture them into something else. Like, for example, now, your cocoa. Once you extract your cocoa, you have to manufacture it into bonvita or your milo for drinking tea. Okay, that's you turning your, your raw material into a finished product or a semi finished product. You also have cassava, which can be used to make gari or flour for baking. Okay, and the next one is constructive occupation. Constructive occupation. Now, this deals with the use of finished or semi finished goods for the construction of roads houses, dresses. For example, we are constructing roads, use different materials, different raw materials like your gravel, your sand, your cement, your water. Now all of these things are used for what? Constructive occupation. Now those things we construct, we construct roads, construct churches, construct buildings, construct houses, even your the dresses you make. As first as a raw material, you just have a simple material and it was made into what? A dress, a trouser for you. Now that's what? A constructive occupation. Now we have the next one as a commercial occupation. Now after you finish extracting, you've manufactured, you've constructed. You don't keep it in your house, you have to sell it. Okay? The process of selling and buying and distributing is called your what? Your commercial occupation. After you've extracted and you've manufactured and you've constructed, you have to what? You have to sell to give you the money which you want, which you want. Example of the traders, they carry their goods to the market to go and what? To go and sell. That's them involving in what? commercial occupation. I have the last one as services. Save. Some persons they don't sell but they earn money. What do they do? They have examples of mechanic. They repair your car and pay them money for it. That's them rendering you services. The Baba, he cuts your hair and you pay him money for it. They have the teachers. They teach you and you pay them what? Money for it. Now all of these are different occupations that earn you money. Like I said, we have five types which are the extraction, manufacturing, constructing, commercial and services if you are involved in any of all these they are called your what they are called your occupation and they are what they will earn you money please ensure you go through your notes and understand the meaning of occupation know the types and also explain them and also know their words their advantages and and their explanation okay it will help you understand and even give you an idea of what you want to do or engage in, in the future to enable you earn what money. Thank you very much for today's class. Join us next time. Same class, same teacher, same subject. Enjoy your day. Thank you.